so sap sql statements so ana sql statements here as soon as you done the sap installation depends upon the version depends upon the version you can execute the uh, the checks ana mini checks or anything you can execute it this is called the SQL statements, predefined SQL statements here. So, this SQL statements will be provided by the SAP. As per the note, there is a note 190977. There is a one note here. So, this will give you the clear example. So, and also it will provide the some details here. So, what is the, your connection, backup, checks, whether system is correctly installed or whether you need to do any adjustments, any CPU recommendation, memory recommendation, patches, all the information it will give you the clear information so how to run this ana checks ana statements here so you have to download this and based upon suppose you want to know the ana workload here just to open this one there is a sql query there is in the form of notepad they will provide the sql query you have to go to the here sql just paste the query here just click on the execute button here then the results will be displayed here regarding that to know the HANA workload related things. It will take some time, especially when you are executing on the production system, you have to clearly, you have to, you have to carefully execute in the off business hours. Why? Because this SQL statements will take very longer time. So we'll give the results here. So this will give you the information here, average response time expected for session like this. Suppose if you, if you just like that, you can add to the tenant as well. So mainly tenant, we need to execute all those things here because tenant is the main here. So as we hatch, so connect to the HANA studio. So if we load on the tenant only system DB is nothing, but there are the, some statements here, SQL statement, we need to run it in the above level sorry, in the system DB level and uh, the tenant DB level, we have to execute it here. Some statements here we have to execute in the both the side here. So not only this one, suppose there is a, some statements here. So you want to uh, check the memory operations. You want to take the tables, parameters, special tables. So large tables, you want to find out the information. So suppose you can see there is a one, one, one note here. It will give you the uh, some information like what are the parameters according to the your system configuration. So what are the parameters you need to adjust that recommendations you will get it out here. Let me show you mm, parameters. So normally we use this one. We use this one, this parameters values. See here, there is a one SQL statement configured configuration of the values. So the parameters. So if you execute this, this script here, this script here, so at on a studio level, so just click on the execute button, it will provide you the, according to the, your HANA version, what will be the SAP standard values you have to maintain in your system, right? So it will give you the clear information here. See here time, it will take some time to recommended value. So for recommended values means according to the, your version, according to the your HANA version. So what parameters you have to change in your SAP, your HANA system. So that will give the information. Normally you need to review the blocks and everything, but SAP giving the, the predefined SQL statements to the customers so that according to the your version, if you run this script SQL statement, it will give you the some information saying that, okay, this is the parameter value is not defined as per the SAP best practices. This is the recommended value. This is our current value. Please change the value like that. It will give you the information here. So let's show it in, it will show now. Why? Because it is executing now. Just to give me it is doing now. So that's why. So this will take some longer time here. So that's why while executing on the your productive systems. So make sure. You have to uh, make sure clearly uh, you follow. Make sure uh, you need to run it in the off business hours. So accordingly, you can plan it in the our systems. Same as like in our landscapes also uh, to implement the SAP best practices in the your HANA databases and everything. Maybe 
maybe monthly or uh, quarterly once you need to execute this SQL statements, you will get from the SAP node. So just execute it. Then whatever the results it is showing here, same you can propose, you can inform to the your customer as per our SAP standards, SAP recommended values we are matching. Are we good to so change the parameter values in the HANA system to better performance? So like you will get the so results so that we can inform to the customer, customer is okay, then we can plan for the change. So it's give the more value adds to the your company, you more value adds to you. Why? Because best practices are you are implementing SAP best practices you are implementing here. So see here, as per the SAP. See here, here is giving the clear information here, you see. So this is the parameter value. So one is set currently. So configured value is the zero, but by SAP recommended value is the four. So currently this expensive statement is false. It's saying the true. So max gas, max GC parallel city configured value is the zero, but here in our SAP system, so recommended value is the three. So you have not set, you need to set false. See here, a lot of parameters. If you implement all these SAP recommended values, so definitely if you implement all those things, no, so you will be in the, if you implement all these things, your system, so we is meeting the best practices, recommended values from the SAP, then you will not face any issues here, any slowness or any performance issues or anything here. See here, here sessions value, they are con we, are, we have not set here configured value, but SAP is saying that configured to this value. So this value, see here, best practices we are implementing here, the related SAP note also, the reference SAP note, best practice we are implementing here, right? So, uh, so they are asked us to check the encryption is true, check why set, then we need to delete these parameters. We need to configure this parameter. See here, best practices we are implementing in our system, which means it will be the, very so system will we will not face any performance issues in the system this is the best to practices implementations so we have to run the sql queries here as per the note here there is a note one nine something yeah this is the note here one nine six nine double one seven zero so if you go to this note there is a zip files are available you can download the zip file you will see the lot of sql statements here lot of sql statements here so that we can implement the all those things lot of sql statements so then so based upon your value so many statements uh, like recommendations parameter checks so mainly these things so if you execute it if you propose the value to the customer then definitely we can fix the issues here that is what we need to do okay that is called the best to practices uh, recommendations okay